Hey, how's it going out there, YouTubers, cigar lovers? This is Jeff coming back at you from the great state of Texas again. And guess what? It's damn near my favorite time of the year. Yeah, that's right. Fall, baby. Temperature's cooling off. Instead of 100 degrees during the day, it's only about 85. You know, low 60s at night to, to low 50s in the morning. Just beautiful. You know, beautiful weather to sit outside and drink a cup of coffee and smoke a cigar before you go to work. We're two weeks into the college football season. I'm watching a football game right now. Gig em Aggies, hook em horns. Uh, this is opening weekend for the NFL as well. Go Cowboys. And hockey season's fixing to start, which I'm really stoked about. Go Stars. Anyway, all that out of the way. How y'all doing out there? Good, I hope. Well, check it out. I've got a, a pretty high-end cigar here tonight that I hope is worth the money. It's a Gurkha. Uh, that's that's how I got started in the hobby. My first bunch of cigars was Gurkhas. Haven't bought a whole lot of them since then. I just find other blends that I like better. Um, but this is the Cellar Reserve. I found it in a local B&M. And, &M and uh, just got curious, decided I would try it. It uh, looks like a very well-made cigar. It's all um, aged 15-year tobacco. It's a... Uh, 6x58 Figurado, uh, rated at 90, uh, this is a 90 rating. Um, the wrapper, I believe, if it's the right Grand Cellar Reserve, because there's like three or four different blends, is a 15-year Dominican Criollo 98. The binder, I think, is a Dominican, it's all 15 years, and the uh, filler, of course, is Dominican. Uh, this is pretty unique cap on here it's a pigtail but it's not like any pigtail I've ever seen you know most pigtails stick up off of there this thing is coiled around and kind of flattened down there on the cap so it's going to take some cutting wrapper really nice satiny it's, it's, it's smooth small veins but nothing big seams are invisible it's a little bit of cracking on the foot but that's you know Probably just due to uh, drastic temperature and humidity changes here in the last few hours. The Figurado is one of my favorites because that small tip right there, it's a lot easier to toast and light. I normally don't like the bigger ring gauge cigars, but I just thought that I would give this one a shot and see how it is. Um, I hope I enjoy it. Now the aroma's on the wrapper. I spent about 15 minutes sniffing this thing before I started this video so I could get it right, but... Um, it's just wood, uh, oak mostly. Like if you're in, if you've ever known anybody like your granddad or somebody that you know used to woodwork as a kid. My granddad used to woodwork, so I used to love the smell of wood. And uh, I smell, it's mostly just oak with a little cedar, of course, uh, just because it's been in humidors and they've always got, they're always such cedar around somewhere. But I think it's mostly oak that I'm getting. It's a real nice smell. It's not like the smell of sawdust or cut wood or burning wood. It's just like if you picked up a little stick of oak and just sniffed it. It's, it's real nice. I think there's a little bit of hay on there, too. So anyway, without further ado, let's get this thing cut and toasted. I haven't had to use my guillotine in a while. I got on the, the uh, punch a lot more. But on this one, I, I'm obviously going to have to use my guillotine. So here's hoping I don't crack the shoulder. Okay. Not a bad cut. Oh, wow. A lot of the same thing on the inside. That oak it just really hits you up right up front. It's definitely the taste of well aged tobacco for sure there's a lot of oak and some leather real nice alright let's get the sucker toasted and see what we get on the first few puffs I'm kinda curious after that pre-light draw it's kinda nice another cigar of mine that is actually one of my absolute number one favorites is the Macanudo Vintage 97 Maduro in the perfecto and it's got the small tip on it like this it's so easy to toast and light a 
initially the draw is just a bit firm. I'm hoping that'll loosen up a little bit as we go on here. Some pretty good flavors. I'm getting a lot of the same thing, just that wood, that woody, that woodiness and the leather. It's it's the taste of well aged tobacco for sure. Most of your cigars you ever had have have had some pretty well aged, you know, 15 years. That's quite a long time. I mean that you know. That's that's older than some people are now, and it's some damn good tobacco. Which is why I think I like the vintage ninety eight because it's twelve or fifteen year tobacco too. No, it's like twenty something year tobacco. Pretty nice smoke output and draw is opening up a little. I'm just getting a lot of that woodiness and that leather. Pretty dark flavors. Quite a bit of flavor to it. So far I would say it's a uh it's a medium body, that's what it's supposed to be. It may be medium to full flavored right now and strength we don't know yet um, here on the band though it does say blend strength blend strength 97.6 percent what that means i don't know but i guess we'll find out anyway i'm going to get into this thing a little bit and i'm going to get back to you i'm going to try to keep this video in one piece but forgive me and be patient with me if it doesn't i'm working with a cell phone camera and if i my, my attention lapses for just a little bit and the screen goes off I have to start the video over it cuts the video off and I have to start all over so I just got to stay on the screen anyway I'll get back to y'all later all right so here we are back we're in about the first third or so we're about an inch and a quarter or so in into this thing you see the ass is holding on nice and tight burns nice and even I'm going to go ahead and knock that ash off before we have an accident. It was ready to go. Okay, so pretty impressed so far. Like I said, you can tell it's a it's, it's a well-aged uh, cigar. I'm getting a lot of that, like I said initially, that oak uh, and some leather. Uh, that cedar at one point was there on the forefront for a little while, but all three of those along with cherry. Cherry was pretty predominant shortly after I cut the video off. It kind of, I started to notice it, and then it took the forefront with everything else taking a back seat. And then, you know, everything else was just kind of in and out. But there, before I restarted it here, uh, it was a lot of the cherry and that oak. It's real nice um, flavors. Very smooth. Uh, the draw is loosened up like I hoped it would. And it's just, it's perfect. Minimal effort. And uh, so I'm enjoying it so far. One quick note before I cut it off here. This band is supposed to be white. That's how aged this thing is since it's been made. All that yellowing, it just it gives a real nice uh, appeal to the band, I think. Anyway, I'm going to get up to the halfway point or maybe a little farther and then get back to you and let you know what I get. Ooh, wish y'all could have seen that. I was pulling that cigar toward the ashtray. The damn ash dropped off and landed right in the stirrup on the ashtray. Whew, crisis averted. Anyway. Back to the Stellar Reserve 15. As you can see, still burning perfectly. Uh, performance is still the same. Everything uh, all across the board, A's. Uh, the, the flavors are still the same. They're that oak and cedar and cherry. I haven't really noticed a whole lot of leather. It comes in and out. But I, I like to describe these flavors as mild flavors. You know, your wood flavors, your oak, your cedar, cherry, things like that. Those are the milder flavors as opposed to the dark flavors like your your coffees and your cocos and your chocolates and your earth which you know i prefer you know on a regular basis a darker cigar but i like these milder cigars but i'll say that these are mild flavors but th these flavors here are on the full end of that spectrum as far as the mild flavors go it's a very enjoyable cigar very smooth it's a medium bodied stick and uh i'm pretty impressed with it so far i'm gonna get the band off this thing get down toward the end and get back to you All right, y'all, so here we are back into the final third, the tail end of this thing. Again, flawless performance, nice burn. I haven't had to touch it up at all. Beautiful ash. Drops off real nice. Barely made it in the ashtray on that last one, but we did. Okay, so final report here on this thing. 
all those same flavors, those woody notes and that cherry in there with it. Like I said, everything just kind of blends together really well where nothing overshadows the other. If it did, you know, wasn't for too long. Two subtle changes here in the final third was that I got a little bit of a pepper tingle on the back of the tongue for just a few draws, and that was it. But like I said, all the same flavors, but they all took on a, a, a toasty characteristic, you know, and which was really nice. So for somebody like me that likes a fuller cigar, the last third of this thing was definitely the best part of this cigar. But I enjoyed this thing all the way around. Uh, the strength kicked up a little bit here in the last 10, 15 minutes, but, you know, if you're not a lightweight, then it's nothing major. Nothing that I don't get regular strength out of the, the other cigars I smoke. But anyways, that's my impressions on um, the price points, 10 or $12, I think. Which, you know, every once in a while it's worth it. I like to stick around the 5 to $9 range. But, I, you know, I'll, I'll spend $10, $12 for a good stick. And on occasion, I'll get up there around 16 or 18 20 or higher, fuck that. That ain't, ain't enough worth it, in my opinion. So, I really enjoy this cigar. And if you like a good, well made cigar, and especially if you like Gurkhas, I'd suggest one of these. Don't forget to keep a lookout for some of my other videos. You know, I just got a tarantula, so I'm doing feeding videos and updates and stuff like that. So, if you're into that kind of thing, or you just like me, you get bored and you're watching YouTube, well, here you go. More videos for you to watch, especially if you like watching a good old Texas boy do his reviews on, on whatever the hell it is. But uh, I'm going to go on and get on out of here and finish watching Oklahoma Sooners kick the shit out of the Ohio State Buckeyes. I don't like either team, but I dislike Ohio State even more. I'll check y'all later. God bless you. God bless Texas. Go Cowboys!